morning guys happy sunday i actually just got home from yoga it's around 11 o'clock i didn't go to kickboxing this morning because it was a sub but i needed to move my body in some way because i can't take off more than three days it's just not in my nature but uh it's like a soggy like foggy kind of humid day out and i'm just tired because i didn't fall asleep till like 2 30 last night no almost three um, so I just told Lauren, I was like, I don't even know if I want to do Sunday fun day today. I kind of just want to chill, um, make my breakfast for the week, like get really back on track. And I feel like having the Nutribullet, it's really like a part of wanting me to like, I really want to like just get back into the swing of things. I'm making my very first shake in it. So what I have is two tablespoons of, actually no, one tablespoon of this organic golden, um, flaxseed raw organic antioxidant fruits are also in this. I got this at Expo East. And two tablespoons is 70 calories, so I have one, so it's 35. Uh, some original almond milk, a scoop of my protein powder, which is very low, so I may actually venture out to get myself more protein powder today. Um, a tablespoon of PB2, and some frozen mixed berries. So really just a lot of berries um, and protein, just trying to detox and have a good breakfast. I might have some yogurt on the side as well because I am pretty hungry. I haven't eaten yet and it's already 11. So I got Eddie an egg sandwich for when he wakes up in a few minutes. And then I'm just gonna watch some videos on YouTube and have my breakfast. Pretty standard for me. All right, so a few things. Um, one, I love the shake and it was so good. Now I'm finally getting to making roasted butternut squash soup that I roasted this up actually last week, but it's still fine. It's been sitting in the fridge. So I have three cloves of garlic because I love garlic mixed with some red onion, um, just like reducing with some olive oil. And then I'm gonna add this in with the heavy cream that I got. I'm not gonna use a lot of it. And then I'm gonna, for the first time, use the immersion blender that we got, oop, that I got at my bridal shower. And I'm pretty sure when I made this soup last time, this is the steps that I took, but I don't really remember. So could get interesting. For seasonings, I'm gonna keep it very simple. Um, I'll probably add a little bit more garlic powder just because, again, I love garlic powder. I'm gonna use some coarse sea salt and then I'll add a little bit of black pepper. And that's it because I really want the flavor of the roasted butternut squash to come through. So I added that in. I'm gonna add the seasonings and then once this kind of cooks up and heats through a little bit, then I'm gonna add the heavy cream, let it all mix, and then I'll put the blender in there easiest thing in the world. Um, the heavy cream, in my opinion, really does make this a delicious soup. So it's just garlic, onion, roasted butternut squash, and heavy cream with garlic, salt, and pepper. You can add a little Parmesan cheese if you wanted to. And then I used this little Cuisinart, like I said, uh, you know, immersion blender, but you could simply take all the ingredients out, put it in a blender, blend it up, and then put it back into the pot to warm it up. But that's it. It's so simple, so easy. Um, I don't know how it would taste with any other milk or dairy because I've never tried it that way. This is just the way that I know and love and I'm going to add just a little bit of cinnamon at the end just to give it a hint of like sweetness and make it a little more fallish but I'm telling you right now guys this stuff is amazing. So I officially bailed on Sunday fun day. I don't know if it's the weather or if I'm getting what uh, my boss had on Friday but I'm just completely drained of energy. Yesterday was a really busy day, so that could be part of it. Um, like, I have so many things I want to do today. I want to make protein waffles for the week. I wanted to make some green juices um, and then put them in mason jars just to have because I feel like my body is also lacking a lot of really good nutrients lately. But I'm just so tired. It's 1.20 and I just, I haven't done much. Um, also, I'm a creature of habit, so when I get thrown off my schedule, it really messes me up. And the fact that I haven't, like I didn't have kickboxing this morning, and I was out till 2.30, slept till 8, went to yoga from 9.30 to 10.30, and then, like it, it, it set my whole day back, which is not a huge deal, but it, for me, it really is a big deal. It really throws me off. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to force myself to go out. Um, I am running low on protein powder, like I said before. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. Um, I have not much left at all. Like, yeah, that's not, probably won't even last me the week. So I might pop into GNC and run into the food store just to get greens because the Nutribullet 
comes with a lot of, it comes with a meal plan, comes with tons of recipes, um, which is great. I mean, you can find recipes online for pretty much anything, but like I really, I was telling Eddie, I really like this idea, spinach with fruit mixed together and ginger for immunity or, you know, extra vitamins. So spinach and then blueberries, strawberries, and a banana. I have frozen blueberries and strawberries already. So I just need spinach and bananas because I actually didn't buy any this week because I didn't. Um, or morning glory, you know, like there's just a lot of ideas. So I just want to go to sleep, but I could nap and then go out later, but I'd rather get it done and then just be home for the night and um, kind of just chill. I need to just kind of have a reset day and do nothing. And that's okay to do also. I just, I don't know, it's hard for me to accept that I'm tired and can't do all the things that I want to do, even though I really need to. Apparently I was tired. I just took a nice two hour nap. Um, I just was watching Super Fun Night, which unfortunately was kind of not that great because I love Rebel Wilson, so it's a little hard for me to admit that her show wasn't that good, but whatever. Uh, and then my mom actually texted me and said, do you want to come over for Sunday dinner? Uh, we're having meatloaf. And it's funny because Eddie was going to actually make us meatloaf not once, but twice this week, and it just never happened. So I guess I'm meant to have it. It just wasn't meant to be with Eddie. <laughs> um, so I figured I'd go there, and I'm making caramelized Brussels sprouts with garlic, onion, and bacon, which I've never made before, but I've been wanting to make for a really long time. So I figured since I'm gonna go there for meatloaf, meatloaf with bacon Brussels would be a really nice side. Whoops, my water just fell over. Plus, this is probably the one way I can get Eddie to eat Brussels sprouts, even though he's not eating them today. Um, if they come out good, he will eat them. So I'll show you the process as always. The three best smells in the world, if you're not a vegetarian, in my kitchen right now, together in one pot. Garlic, onion, and bacon. Oh, ooh, sorry for the steam cam. Um, oh my goodness, you guys. So what it says to do is you cook the bacon and then you take it out with a slotted spoon, which is probably gonna be very difficult, and then you add the Brussels in face down and cook it in, and then you add the bacon back. I may just add the, the Brussels in, but I'll probably regret it because it's not making it the right way. And then you do a balsamic vinegar glaze on top, which is why I picked that up at the store yesterday because I really, this is, this dish has been on my mind for such a long time. Oh, the wind just blew the steam the wrong way. Thank you. I mean the other way. Just removed the bacon with a slotted spoon and the garlic and onion. Some of it came out with it. So I have the Brussels cut in half, cooking away in the bacon grease with some of the, like some pieces of bacon, as you can see, and onions have still in there. And it said to cover it, so I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add the bacon back in. I undercooked the bacon just a little bit, just so it would continue to cook when I added it back in. And then I'm going to add balsamic vinegar, but someone just told me to add maple syrup, which I don't even know if we have, but maybe I'll do that next time if this comes out good. And that, my friends, is what the finished product looks like. It's very hot, but I'm actually going to try a little bite. Let's see, is this a good little one? Gotta get some bacon up on there. I love bacon. Mm, ready? <laughs> hot. That's so, so good. Bacon and Brussels, do it. You guys know how I'm like such a candle freak with my Bath and Body Works candles. So I just wanted to show you uh, because for some reason, I'm thinking because our house is on a slant. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it is. It's very uneven. Um, one of the pumpkin caramel latte candles burned quicker than the other. So I'm gonna show you what I do when some a catastrophe like this occurs. Because I always have two of the same scents burning um, in the same room. I really like two, and this time I had three because my mom got me the baby pumpkin caramel latte, which is completely gone. And this is d done, so um, I'm gonna pop this in the freezer later so I can reuse the container. And then this guy, there's still a lot left. So, he gets rotated out and will be used either in the bedroom, the bathroom, or the kitchen because those rooms only get one candle. And then I switch it out for two other ones. So, pumpkin cupcake is the next mantle one. I had a hard time choosing between this leaves or sweater weather, but I feel like since it's October, it's appropriate to have um, pumpkin on the mantle. This is how crazy I am when it comes to my candles. Like, who thinks like this? Not a regular person, a regular like, 
person should not think like this. I don't know. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. How cute is this? My dad put little orange lights on the porch for Halloween for like little trick-or-treaters. And they have like their corn stalks, stalks, and their scarecrow and stuff. I just wanted to show you guys that before we have dinner. And somehow I found Glee season one is on TV. So that's of course what I'm watching. Check out this meatloaf no. that mom made. No, dad doesn't want me to show you, but I'm going it's, to anyway. It's got a little grease and gristle and well, it you, looks like the Hudson River. No, it doesn't. You <laughs> Take it off. And then there's mashed potatoes and gravy and, and then escarole, but that's not for this, is it? No. No. And then uh, Brussels are in the oven. We combined the ones that I made earlier with the ones that mom had. So we're having Ooh, a, la, la. It's like a Brussels explosion. Yeah. Brussels festival. Brussels festival. Brussels it's a Brussels festival, genius. I got all the fixings. No shortage of food here. All right guys, I'm actually gonna go ahead and call it a night and climb into bed and watch Revenge and any other Sunday night TV. I'm tired still, even though I slept for like two and a half hours this afternoon, I am just wiped out. I was talking to Eddie about that before. I was like, you know what? You just need to listen to your body sometimes because that's something that he has a really hard time doing. He, I think because of his condition, he feels like he can't just chill if that makes sense, like he always feels like he has to be on the move and he can't just have a relaxed day or he feels like if he has to rest then something's wrong, I don't know, or he doesn't want to admit it to himself. And I was trying to tell him, I'm like, listen, I knew today that I was more exhausted than usual and that I needed to just not do the plans that I had. Like I had plans with Lauren and I canceled on her 10 minutes before. I was like, listen, I'm really sorry. I just, I had no energy and she obviously totally understood and was fine with it because, you know, whatever, it's not often that I'm, I just felt like that and I passed out 10 minutes later like and fell asleep for two and a half hours. Never do I do that. So, you know, you just need to listen to your bodies. If you're tired or you're sore or something doesn't feel right, don't work out. Or, you know, take a rest day, whether it's a rest day from being, you know, with friends and family or a rest day from work. Just. Sometimes you need a mental health thing. You call into sick work. Uh, call in sick to work. There you go. Everybody needs a little reset day. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. And I'm really excited because I should be back on track with all my workouts this week after two weeks of kind of like in and out. And I'm gonna make a green juice first thing tomorrow morning. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Lots of cooking went down today. I like those days. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. The proud owner of a Nutribullet, which. Lauren has and Sarah and Becky actually have also so that's why I went with it and it got really good reviews and it comes with all this stuff. It's big too. It, <laughs> Imagine having a shake this big. Well that's probably what I'm going to drink it in. I mean and you could take it with you right? Doesn't it have like top?